नमस्कार जय श्री कृष्ण एन लाइटनिंग टेक्स्ट थर्टी फोर एंड टेक्स थर्टी फाइव ऑफ चैप्टर फाइव नारद इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑन श्रीमद भागवतम फॉर व्यास देव ऑफ फर्स्ट एंड ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम टेक्स थर्टी फोर एवं नृणाम क्रिया योगा सर्वे समस्ति हेतव त एवात्म विनाशाय कल्पन्ते कल्पिता परे दस वेन ऑल अ मैं एक्टिविटीज आर डेडिकेटेड टू द सर्विस ऑफ द लॉर्ड दोज वेरी एक्टिविटीज विच कॉज हिज परपेचुअल बॉन्डेज बिकम द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ द ट्री ऑफ वर्क फ्रुटिव वर्क विच हैज परपेचुअली एंगेज द लिविंग बींग इज कंपेयर टू द वनियन ट्री इन द भगवत गीता फॉर इट इज सर्टनली वेरी डीपली रूटेड As long as the propensity for enjoying the fruit of work is there, one has to continue the transmigration of the soul from one body or place to another according to one's nature of work. The propensity for enjoyment may be turned into the desire for serving the mission of the Lord by doing so. One's activity is changed into karma yoga, or the way by which one can attain spiritual perfection by engaging in the work for which he has a natural tendency. Here the word atma indicates the categories of all fructive work. The conclusion is that when the result of all fructive and other work is dotted with the service of the Lord, it will cease to generate further karma and gradually develop into transcendental devotional service, which will not only cut off completely the root of the banyan tree of work, but will also carry the performer to the lotus feet of the Lord. The summary is that one has to first of all seek the association of pure devotees who not only are learned in the Vedanta but are self-realized souls and unalloyed devotees of Lord Sri Krishna, the personality of Godhead. In that association, the neophyte devotees must render loving service physically and mentally without reservation. This service attitude will induce the great souls. to be more favorable in bestowing their mercy which injects the neophyte with all the transcendental qualities of the pure devotees gradually this is developed into a strong attachment to hearing the transcendental pastimes of the lord which makes him able to catch up the constitutional position of the gross and subtle bodies and beyond them the knowledge of pure soul and his eternal relation with the supreme soul the personality of godhead after the relation is ascertained by establishment of the eternal relation pure devotional service to the lord begins gradually developing into perfect knowledge of the personality of godhead beyond the purview of impersonal brahma and localized parmatma by such purushottama yoga as it is stated in the bhagavad gita one is made perfect even during the present corporeal existence and one exhibits all the good qualities of the lord in the highest percentage such is the gradual development by association of pure devotees Satisfaction of the Lord cannot lead one back to the kingdom of God, 
which means that it cannot offer even salvation as already explained in connection with the stanza naish karmyam api achyuta bhava varjitam the conclusion is that a devotee engaged in the unalloyed service of the lord specifically engaged in hearing and chanting of his transcendental glories become simultaneously spiritually enlightened by the divine grace as confirmed in the bhagavad gita hare krishna